What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. In today's video, we're discussing the current status of iOS jailbreaking, especially for those of you on iOS 18.5 and of course 18.4.1, 18.4, 18 and stuff like that. What is currently going on? What should you do? Which version should you stay on? And so on. So I'm going to start with the obvious thing. iOS 26 is coming. The developer beta is already out and many of you are willing to update to get the new glass look and whatever. Do not do that. You would completely nuke your chances to get a jailbreak in the near future. I was 26 may be very buggy but it may not have vulnerabilities that we could use for jailbreak purposes at the time so do not do that at the moment we're on iOS 18.5 this is the latest stable version and this is one of the worst versions you could be on not even my tools work properly on this the iDevice toolkit does work on iOS 18.5 and you can use the file manager and the IPA tweaks however no cosmetic tweaks can be done even with that for those of you who are still using Pelrain it's basically the last few iOS versions that Pelrain supports because as you can see iOS 18.5 is currently out and of course iPadOS 18.5 is out and you can still jailbreak it with Pelrain on only one device that is the iPad 7 generation however with the introduction of iOS 26 developer beta Apple finally completely dropped the last device that supported the Checkmate exploit which means that iOS 26 does not run on any Checkmate compatible device so no more Pelrain once iOS 26 is released so if you want to mess with jailbreaking and stuff like that getting yourself an iPad 7 generation would be a great idea while you still can. For the rest of you, if you want to look for jailbreaks for your device, I do maintain a page over here called Jailbreak Tools for All iOS Versions. As you can see, you have at a glance the current status of jailbreaking. It's pretty dire at this time. iOS 26 beta cannot be jailbroken. iOS 18.5 cannot be jailbroken. In fact, iOS 18.0 up to iOS 18.4.1 cannot be jailbroken. However, for iOS 18.0 up to 18.3.1, you can still use tools like iDevice Toolkit, and like MVC zero, dirty zero, and so on to enable some cosmetic tweaks, but those are not really jailbreaks. This week, I also want to talk about iPadOS 18 on iPad 6 generation. For those of you who are unaware, iPad 6 generation is running iOS 17 as its latest iOS version. This iPad did not receive iOS 18 update. However, we did get an iOS 18 update from the community, and this one is a project that could be done because the hardware of iPad 6 and 7 generation it's actually quite similar. So they could port the iOS 18 from the iPad 7 generation back to iPad 6. I'm gonna make a full video on this, so definitely wait for that. But it's a great thing in the jailbreak community, which is otherwise pretty silent at the moment. But with the release of iOS 26, we might be able to see more bugs showing up that we might be able to use for jailbreak purposes, because it's usually that the first version of a major iOS, for example, 26.0, does bring some interesting vulnerabilities compared to later versions that get more more refined and patched, but that remains to be seen. Right now, Pelrain is about to die because the last iOS device that supported it is no longer supported in iOS 26 and for the rest of the devices like the iPhone 10 and the Max 11, 12, 13, 14 and stuff like that there are vulnerabilities so staying on a lower version is definitely preferred but there is no release at the moment it's a pretty bad moment in the jailbreak community for these devices but you should definitely not update your device this video was brought to you by FlexStore speaking of jailbreaks if you want to get your favorite jailbreak in IPA format without a computer they provide a huge list of pre-signed jailbreaks for you to get. You can get the Dopamine, Uncover, you can get the Taurine, you can even get tools like Pure PKG, Miseka, and of course others like Blizzard Board and Kaobinga. Definitely check it out in the link below. So yeah, that's what's currently going on in the jailbreak community. That's what we have for now. iOS 26 is on the horizon and it already has a developer beta release, but for now there are no bugs that we could use for jailbreak purposes, so please refrain from updating, especially if you're waiting for one. Thank you for watching, I'm Gio Snow, peace out.